All right, now my first year covering Faster Horses was the festival's third year. The first two years, Zeke Jennings, who used to, uh, who used to be a reporter at the Jackson Citizen Patriot, covered it. Showed me the ropes a little while I was interning in his second year there. And uh, this third annual Fast Horses Festival is uh, the infamous thunderstorm. <laughs> this was wild for myself and uh, Jackson Citizen Patriot uh, photographer J. Scott Park. Brad Paisley is about to go on. He's the next guy up, next big headliner, and it is packed. We're at 40,000. No, this was at the, around 30. No, this was at 40,000 people, and we just remember following. I just remember personally, and Scott and I have talked about it in the past, just watching the weather forecast and thinking, uh oh. And just thinking, and Scott and I would look at each other and look at the weather forecast and just say, uh oh. What are they going to do here? We have no idea what happens if a thunderstorm hits and rolls over the main stage. You're outside. And that's exactly what happened. People are packed in in front of the stage. Like packed in for Brad Paisley. You're not giving up front row. You're not giving up top 30 row tickets for this, especially these fans at the Faster Horses Festival. And I just remember that storm coming in and them announcing that people needed to get the heck out of there. Find shelter. You can't be here. If you have shelter, go back to it. It was basically like evacuate, evacuate. And I just remember standing on top of the hill. I'm looking down at all the fans and I just hold my phone over my head and just start recording. And you'll see that video attached and uh, if you slide down a little bit. But my favorite memory of that is when everyone was allowed to come back. It was like 11 o'clock, pitch black. That hill going down to the front area of the main stage, soaked. Puddles everywhere. I got in there early. I just once again stood there held my camera and recorded as people just ran down the hill running down the hill ankles over their heads just falling flat on their yeah oh i don't think anybody got hurt but let's just say that was uh you'll also see that video attached in the next couple slides that was easily the craziest memory for that we won some associated press awards not tooting my own horn for that but just the craziness of that and just it was wild. It was wild. And that was my first year covering Faster Horses. Brad Paisley paid, played until like 1.30 in the morning, it felt like. And uh, the next memory is also connected to this thunderstorm and this night. And let's just say it's not one of my personal favorites.